G'day and welcome to Plain Air Adventures of Tez Dow. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the Australian bush, not far from the coast, and I'm in the Aboriginal land of the Darking Jong people. Quote me wrong if uh, that's don't, not how you pronounce it, uh, because I'm used to living in the area of the Darug uh, tribe people, but this is the, the coastal people, so it's Darking Jung people, I think it's described as. And I want to show you here in the beautiful bush, look at this sandstone here. Ain't that just beautiful? Now you think, oh, look at that. I, when I first came across over the top over the other side there, I look like the men have laid that. But um, no, this is just from creation, and um, God's lay, laid that, um, that paving, so... Um, yeah, it's just really fascinating. So let's have a look. There's a road there. It's a pity the road wasn't so close. But I don't want to venture off too far in the bush as I will um, probably get lost. But you can have a look at the sandstone here. How fantastic is that? That's really great. I'll just take you and show you over this one quickly. Now it's a bit cold and windy. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Wanted to get out nice and early. Now check out this. Doesn't that look so great? Wow, it's beautiful. Okay, so I've got my gear set up over there and I'm gonna paint a scene, but we'll come back to that. I wanna show you a few native plants. Okay, this plant here, they call it a black boy. It's a native grass. You have a look under, underneath. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, that's a black boy. And we'll take a walk and look at some other native plants. Okay, here's another black boy. Okay, I want to show you some heath and wattle. Well, over here, where my gear's set up, over here, this is a type of uh, coastal wattle. I don't know the scientific name, but ain't that just beautiful? And over here, this is either a Korea or a Heath. I'm not too sure, but I think it's a Korea plant. And you've got your eucalyptus and that, of course. Over here, I'm pretty sure there's Heath. Oh, that's the same plant, Korea. And we'll take a walk, I'll show you some more. Yeah, here we go here. This one here is a heath, I'm sure. So I used to be right into plants when I was growing up. That's why I got a fair idea with the um, native plants. So anyway, I'll show you what I'm looking at to paint today got all my gear set up here okay so we're up on the mountain and if you can see down over there the water over there that's uh, Edelong so I'm painting that scene here so I'm gonna have my mountains in place here there's a couple of little islands in between you got Edelong and then you're gonna have the water there and then the, the bush is gonna be in the foreground. Got all my gear set up here. I've got some coal wax medium. I've got some terra verde, emerald green, yellow ochre, lemon yellow, cad yellow, lemon yellow, alizarin crimson. I've got um, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue and white. That's my stock standard palette. So um, I will get into it. So anyway, I'll get things, get things cracking and come along for this painting. What a beautiful day. Couple of quick tips when you're painting light in the early morning light, 
I found usability a bit of uh, yellow or cad yellow or yellow ochre, mix it with your white and start that at the horizon part of your painting. And as you go up, add your cobalt blue or cerulean blue and go darker and darker. And it depends on how much sky that you're gonna use. But I found by doing that, as you see, you look at the horizon area, it's always got more yellow in it. Okay, another tip that I have is when I do my distant mountains in the early morning light, I use some sky that I've got. So I use the sky and I'll add a bit of burnt sienna, a little bit of yellow ochre, and a little bit of ultramarine blue. And you mix that together and that gives you a mountain color. And now it depends on how it is, but if it's a bit brown, I keep working ultra and blue into it. Okay, so I've done the mountains. As I've come closer, I've added more ultramarine blue, more burnt sienna, more yellow ochre, and I've able to, and a little bit of linseed and crimson, I'm able to bring that darker with the middle distance as I come closer. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work on the, the water. I'm gonna use the sky color that I had, and I'm gonna tweak it a little bit if I might need to add a little bit more um, cobalt blue and a little bit more green. Okay, so we're going along okay. What I'm gonna do is, is put a little bit of highlights on this mountain here, because the sun has come from the east to the west. The sun's up here, up this way. So I need to put some highlights here, on these sides, to distinguish where the sun is. Very subtle colour, not too strong. Okay, the backbone and the painting's in place. I've done the sky, the distance, the middle ground. Now I'm going to work on foreground here in front of me now there's so much green in there but I'm just going to pick out a couple of shapes and the colors and keep it more 
like an abstract sort of look. If you want to go too detailed, you can, but I found just keep it simple, works for me. Okay, so I finished the painting. Let's have a look at it. Didn't put a tree here. I didn't want to um, take away the view. Quite happy with how that turned out. Let's have a look from back here. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that. And I like coming in the bush. Um, next time I want to go deeper in the bush because the road and the cars, it's, you don't want to hear that when you come to the bush. So anyway, thanks for coming along. I'll catch you in the next one. See you next week.